Things are dealt with. What was that? Now you're mine! Something I said? What was that? I guess I was just hearing things. What was that?
Give it up, Brynjol. Those days are over. I'm telling Shut. you, this what do you one think is different. different. Could a We've beautiful all heard that woman one before, like Brynjol. Ever see Quit yourself with yourself. an old cudgel like me? It's time to face the truth, old friend. Absolutely. You, oh, really? Mercer, well, then. you're all part of a dying breed. Happen? When you're in Things your grave, changing. then I'm standing dying over it. Now well, get out of my way. What do you call that, then? Well, well. Color me impressed, lad. I wasn't certain I'd ever see you again. Reliable and headstrong? You're turning out to be quite the prize. So, now that I've whetted your appetite with our little scheme at the market, how about handling a few deadbeats for me? They owe our organization some serious coin, and they've decided not to pay. I want you to explain to them the error of their ways. Kirava, Percy Honeyhan, and Helga. Do this right, and I can promise you a permanent place in our organization. Ah, just got lucky as Honestly, the debt is secondary here. What's more important is that you get the message across that we aren't to be ignored. A word of warning, though. I don't want any of them killed. Bad for business. And just when the going is getting good? No thanks. Of course you'll get a cut. We take care of our own. Now, if you need any details on your marks, I'll be here. Get going. I'll be here when you're done. Jewelry with legendary Argonian craftsmanship. Buy some armor and live to tell about it. Buying and selling fine jewelry here. Those who shirk their duties will get an extra beating. Do I make myself clear? Yes, yes Grillid. And one more thing. I will hear no more talk of adoptions. None of you riffraff is getting adopted, ever. Nobody needs you. Nobody wants you. That, my darlings, is why you're here. Why you will always be here. Until the day you come of age and get thrown into that wide, horrible world. Now, what do you all say? We, we love, love you, Grillid. Thank you for Thank your, you kindness. For your kindness. kindness. That's better. Now scurry off, my little gutter snipes. Just leave here. Leave. 
Leave us alone! I... I can't believe it! Grillet is dead? She's really dead! Enough! A place of new beginnings. I grew up somewhere similar. Someone has killed Grillet! <laughs> Grillet is dead! Aventus did it! <laughs> Hooray! Grillet the kind is dead at last! We're saved! Yay! Aventus. He did it! Ah. He got the, the Brotherhood to kill old Grelin. <laughs> Hurrah! Hurrah! Hurrah. <laughs> Hurrah! We love you, Dark Brotherhood! <laughs> no more! I yield! I yield! Grelod? Murdered? Here? I... I need air. You... You get out of here! Get out! Fear not. Come dragon or giant, we'll be ready. May the gods watch over your battles, friend. You want to ask me something? No, my mind is as blank as your expression right now. Uh, no offense.
Watch the skies, traveler. Unless you intend to bury someone, this isn't the place you're looking for, traveler. Falkreath is known for its graveyard, traveler. We've buried more dead than you can imagine. I just finished giving my old war companion Barrett a proper burial by fire. Old Hardhead hated the idea of being lost cold in the ground. Could you deliver the ashes to Runil, the priest of Arke? He'll know the right blessings to make for Barrett's soul. Thank you. Come on in. We got warm food, warm drinks, and warm beds. Try not to judge Falkreath too harshly, visitor. The war has been hard on us. So, you have attained full Dragonborn status. Being shouted at by a group of old men has never been so rewarding. Of course, what do you want to know? Okay, come and get me when it is time to go. Excuse me, sir. I don't normally do this, but, um, have you got a moment to talk? Marvelous. My name is Lucian Flavius. I'm a scientist, philosopher, amateur wizard, and something of a musician, though I suppose that's more the hobby. I couldn't help noticing that you seem... how can I put this? Well acquainted with the less savoury side of Skyrim? As a matter of fact, I do. I'm here in Skyrim on an expedition, academic mainly. I find the province simply fascinating. The flora, the fauna, the ruins, both Dwemer and Nordic, the architecture, the politics. Trouble is, I'm really not much of a fighter. I know a few spells and can just about swing a sword, but beyond that, I'm pretty useless in combat. Skyrim's no place for a milk drinker like me. Not on my own, anyway. So, I'm looking for someone to travel with. I suppose what I'm asking is, would you awfully mind if I tag along? I will of course compensate you most handsomely for putting up with me. Oh, shall we say 300 septims up front? After that, I'll top you up every time we come across something useful to my research. At your discretion, of course. No obligations, save that you take me with you and assist in keeping me alive wherever possible. Oh, splendid. Here's your gold. This is going to be quite the adventure. It's a pleasure to meet you. Lead on. You want a drink? Greetings. Come on, legs. We are on the move again. <clears throat> Until next time. Hello there. Just thought I'd introduce myself. I'm Lucian. Hey there, Lucian. My name is Inigo. Very pleased to meet you. Pleased to meet you too, Inigo. I think we're going to make a great team. Yes, I am sure we will. You don't sound very convinced. Well, you seem a little, um... A little weak. what? Well-educated? Well-dressed? Well-fee? Weak. Well -dressed? Well -fee? weak. I mean no offense, but I am sure you will be fine. Fine? You're sure I'll be fine? Gosh, thanks for the vote of confidence, Inigo. Forget I said anything. Sorry, Julian. It's Lucian. Lucian, yes. Uh, what did I say? Julian. My apologies. Apology accepted. Right then, in...
Indigo. Let's get back to it, shall we? It is Inigo, not Indigo. Exactly. <laughs> Point taken. I do not know about your skill with a blade, but your intellect is clearly sharper than most. Glad to have you with us, um... Uh... Lucian! Lucian, yes, Lucian. Uh, I am sorry. You're doing it on purpose now. I must admit I'm a little anxious about the idea of confronting a live dragon in battle. I mean, it's exciting. I'll get to see something hardly anyone else in Tamriel has ever laid eyes on. But equally, it might roast us alive. If you say so, boss. I hope you're right. Bye for now. If you're looking for a handout, you'll want to speak with my husband. If you're looking for company, I suppose... Could do worse. Impressive. By the gods, it's true, isn't it? A dragon has attacked Whiterun. How could mere men bring down such a beast? Last mistake. Wait, I know you. Look out, this idiot is upset There's no mistake. Something. You're a wanted man, and it's time to pay for your crimes. Huh. Well, your bounty is low. All right. Get out of my sight. But you're known to me now, scum. Remember that. Vampire! <laughs> Just a I ordered up a yarn. Stop right there. Have you considered not trying to burn me? I guess you're smarter than you look.
Out of my way. The son of the Jarl has no time for idle conversation with travelers. If you must know, I was practicing in the yard when the guard I was sparring with fainted when I specifically told him to duck. My blade bit right into the stonework next to the keep and needed serious repairs. Thankfully, our smith, Balamond, works wonders. In fact, if you'd fetch my blade from him, I'd be most appreciative. Thank you. Do hurry, please. All right, then. Riften, city of a thousand suspicious smells. Perhaps I'll write a book about it one day. From a distance, that is. Come to see Balamon perform miracles with steel, eh? To tell about it. Lazy good for nothing, isn't he? Sent you down here when I'm a stone's throw from the keep. Here's the sword. Tell Harald to stop slaying walls, and perhaps his blade will stay in better condition. <laughs> If you need any more... Smithing work. Come see me again. Must you push like that? Take my advice. Don't listen to that talk of the face sculptor down in the ragged flagon. Face butcher is more like it from what I've heard. Out of my way. The son of the Jarl has no time for idle conversation with travelers. Every day the threat of exile from Riften draws closer for myself and my family. Who knows how many spies the Empire has sent into our midst already. We're at war. This isn't the time for hospitality. Thank goodness Mother is keeping a level head about everything. If my brother Seolund had his way, we'd be flying Imperial colors by now. Can you believe that fool had the audacity to speak of his love for the Empire in the plaza? He expects us to drop our defenses and greet them with open arms. To dialogue with them rather than defend our homeland by spilling their blood. He's a traitor, plain and simple. Had I been sitting on the throne, he'd be hanging from the gallows for his sympathies toward the Empire. Took your sweet time getting it to me. Here you go, for your trouble. All right, then. Everything all right? My wisdom is yours to siphon as you will. Absolutely not. I've tried. Divines know I've tried. But I just can't get the knack. Every single horse I've ever tried to ride just throws me off. Or maybe I just fall off. The point is, I can't ride. Maybe one day I'll learn, but today is sadly not that day. Bye for now.
I presume you're bothering me for a good reason. Here for a... I've already told that buffoon that I'm not paying you people a single coin. Look around you. I'm barely keeping this rat hole together. The war seemed to that. Come on, give it your best shot. You're just going to stand there and take it. It's nothing. No sign of I'm telling you, the investment has been waiting for. So I pay for the weapon shipments. And you oversee their distribution what do you want? Exactly. With the rumors going around about how poorly your guild's been doing, she's become much too bold. I'm not that foolish. The last thing I want is a war with your people. I'll do it. Look, I'm only telling you this because I care for her. Don't mistake this as acceptance for what you do. Kirava has some family at a farm just inside of Morrowind. If you mention you know about it, she might just listen to you. Just please don't harm anyone. I couldn't bear the thought. If you'll excuse me, I have other things to attend to. to hear you say that. You want something or not? No, and I never will. Now get out of my inn. It would take a threat to all of Skyrim. How could you possibly know about please? My family means too much to me. Don't hurt them. Very well. Here. Take this back to Brynjolf, and tell him he'll have no more trouble from me. When are you going to stop by the tent? Oh, don't like those eyes you got. There's a bad hunger to them. So, can I interest you in anything today? What? Oh, it's one of you people. So Brynjolf doesn't even bother to show up himself anymore, eh? What's this message? You're gouging me for what little coin I make, and you can't even protect yourselves? Ridiculous. Don't fool yourself. It's only a matter of time before you people are run out of Riften. Likewise. Now I have a lot to do, so I'm afraid you'll just have to leave. I'm sorry, you're going to have to... No! You're going to break it! Oh my word. No! That urn was priceless! All right, I get it. I'll pay on time from now on. Just don't smash anything else. Here, take your gold, and leave me in peace. New in town, eh? Here for the fishing, I guess. Fresh meats and produce. Get them before they're gone. It's you. Please, don't hurt me. I know who you are. You've been terrorizing the entire city. Please, there's no need for that here. Message understood. Here, I even have the payment. Something on your mind? You want to ask me something? I'm thinking it is another lovely day in Riften. Okay, let us get back to it. Clean and free from rock joints. Your skin's as pale as the snow. You scared of sunlight or something?
fresh meats and produce. Get them before they're gone. Vegetables as crisp as a winter's morning. Hey, Lucian, this way. So, job's done and you even brought the gold. Best of all, you did it clean. I like that. Dumping bodies and keeping the guards quiet can be expensive. Well done. And it would seem I owe you something in return. Here you go. I think you'll find these quite useful. Judging from how well you've handled those shopkeepers, I'd say you've done more than simply prove yourself. We need people like you in our outfit. That's the spirit. Larceny's in your blood. The telltale sign of a practice thief. I think you'll do more than just fit in around here. What's on your mind? We've run into a rough patch lately, but it's nothing to be concerned about. Tell you what. You keep making us coin, and I'll worry about everything else. Fair enough? Now, if there are no more questions, how about following me and I'll show you what we're all about? I think you better listen to Mercer and Brigno first. We could talk later. Let me show you the operation, then you can ask your questions. Keep following, it isn't far. Mercer, this is the one I was talking about. Our new recruit. This better not be another waste of the guild's resources, Brynjolf. Before we continue, I want to make one thing perfectly clear. If you play by the rules, you walk away rich. You break the rules and you lose your share. No debates, no discussions. You do what we say, when we say. Do I make myself clear? Good, then I think it's time we put your expertise to the test. Wait a moment. 
You're not talking about Golden Glow, are you? Even our little Vex couldn't get in. You claim this recruit possesses an aptitude for our line of work. If so, let him prove it. Golden Glow Estate is critically important to one of our largest clients. However, the owner has suddenly decided to take matters into his own hands and shut us out. He needs to be taught a lesson. Brynjolf will provide you with the details. Mercer, aren't you forgetting something? Hmm? Oh, yes. Since Brynjolf assures me you'll be nothing but a benefit to us, then you're in. Welcome to the Thieves' Guild. Welcome to the family, lad. I'm expecting you to make us a lot of coin. So don't disappoint me. Simple. Do as you're told and keep your blade clean. We can't turn a profit by killing. You should talk with Delvin, Mallory, and Vex. They know their way around this place, and they'll be able to kick some extra jobs your way. Oh, and talk to Tonelia in the flagon. She'll set you up with your new armor. Golden Glow Estate is a bee farm. They raise the wretched little things for honey. It's owned by some smart-mouthed wood elf named Arangoth. We need you to teach him a lesson by burning down three of the estate's hives and clearing out the safe in the main house. The catch is that you can't burn the whole place to the ground. That important client Mercer mentioned would be furious if you did. Aye. The last thing we want to be doing is crossing our clients. Maven prefers that Arangoth remains alive, but if he tries to stop you from getting the job done, kill him. The guild has a lot riding on this. Don't make me look foolish by mucking it up. You watch yourself on that island. Those mercenaries don't take prisoners. This better be important. I'm quite busy. Can I assist? Let's get back to it. <laughs> 